Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hooked on Carnival. I'm Dr. Glass, and we're working on our home page and all the different options that you have uh, to learn anything about and anything and everything about Carnival Glass. Okay, so what we're going to do today, we're going to work on the pricing database, okay, and how to determine the piece of glass that you want to determine its 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 value or what it's been sold what it's been sold for and uh I, I, oh, oh hi hi I, I i've got a friend here this is annie from annie antiques and she's the smartest woman in the world well i'm so glad to be here dr uh, yeah yeah well yeah, what i'd like why don't you take over the home here well i'd be and happy I, to i think you you have you you've got that feminine touch to to <laughs> to allow people to understand what's going on. I'm, I'm a little rough around the edges, you know, see <laughs> yeah, I right. the edges here. So okay, I'm gonna change change I'm places here, rough, Annie. But you're a little bit scraggly around the edges, yes. Okay. Well, okay. Take it away. All right. We're gonna quickly, I think, show you that there are a couple of ways to get into the list of patterns so okay. that you can figure out what you're looking for. Okay. And the one is Right up here on top of the page, it tells you we can do a pattern shape search, and then it has the number search, and then it has all the letters of the alphabet. Well, we talked so, about that, I think, in one of the first uh, right. episodes, right? So if I happen to know that I'm looking for a uh, peacocks on the fence, okay, right? I can just click on the letter P, okay, and it's going to take us to a search for the letter P and show us all oops i'm going to clear this quickly it's going to show us all of the patterns that start with the letter p oh cool. my goodness there's a ton wow, of them. wow yeah a ton of uh, the wow. description of that okay well the one little thing that does help a little bit is we have this thing called show a picture above the pattern name okay so if i don't know what a pacifica looks like okay all i have to do is click that little box and then I can look and say, oh, that's Holy what cow, Pacifica that. is. That's one of those geometric patterns. Probably took a lot of rolls of film to do that. I'm thinking it might have. That's the, we don't use film <laughs> We don't anymore, use film so anymore. No, okay, no, yeah, yeah. old stuff. Old stuff. But if we know that we're looking for pe peacocks on the fence Northwood, once we find our pattern, we can just click on that, and it will take us to a pattern page. Okay. And pattern that pattern page. page is going to have all the information and all the pricing. The peacocks pattern page. Peacock's pattern page. That's alliteration. That is exactly alliteration. Okay. So let's go back here and look one more time. Oops, I forgot to clear my filters. Now I'm going to go back. I want to go back to the home page because what we just did was we picked a letter up here, right? Okay. Uh -huh. If we choose instead to click on the pricing database, okay. click on that button, and that will actually take you to that same screen oh, the same page right same so there's several search ways page. of getting there then right multiple ways of getting there the only difference between the two is this one actually opened up a new tab for us okay. the other one kept us on the main page okay but both of them take us to the same search screen okay right okay. and this is extremely powerful and so much fun to play mm -hmm. with but now on here if we went and said okay we're looking for peacocks we could again go to that alpha page mm -hmm. look at it that way we could go down here and we could say well we know it's a peacock and i don't want to spell the whole word by the way i'm just going to be kind of sneaky here i'm only looking for part of it because you need to spell it specifically well the computers are smart well, they, they know they, they can tell by the first three letters they are what very you're talking smart. about yeah. they are very smart but now if I did my search and I come up with my limited number of patterns that have okay. P in them, right? Oh, yeah, that, 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 that shortens it up it much, easier, yeah. much. If I now click on that peacock and urn, or peacocks on, oh, sorry, I was looking at peacocks on the fence. I'm not looking at urns, I'm looking at fences. Here they are, peacocks oh, on oh, the oh, fence. Okay, yeah. If I click on that now, it will open that pattern page. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click on it, and this is what my pattern page looks like. Yeah, got a lot of different, lot of different colors. colors showing you what they can look like, but Treatment. this is where we're going to have to start to go in and find our prices, okay. right? Because we need to have two things before we can figure out prices. Okay. We need to know what shape we're looking at, okay. so we want to select a shape. Okay. We got, and this we one we only have bowls or plates, yeah. so I would select a shape. Okay. That will now give me all of the available colors for that shape in this pattern. Oh boy. And this one has 
Oh, boy. A bunch. Holy oh moly. But we now would choose a color. And if I go and say, oh, I'm going to pick something very unique, like, uh, oh, let's take one that doesn't have too many. Let's go look at lavender. It will now show me, here's my my grid that tells me the least one is sold for is 40, the most one is 400, the average is 205, and there's been 23 of 23 them sold, sold in our database. Wow. But now I have all kinds of other options to select filters. I'll go into that in a separate one. If I go down to the bottom, here are the actual auction records for cool. those 20, however many pieces it was, 23 pieces. So the auctioneers give you all this stuff. Then. So we get the information directly from the auctioneer. We've got the actual auction photo from that auction mm -hmm. with the actual auction prices and all the information that we've got, uh, have acquired besides that. So we'll get into that later, but that's how you would start with trying to get the pricing information mm -hmm. for your pattern. Okay, you've got to find the pattern, the piece, shape, right. name, all that rigmarole. Just, just to get to the point where you got to figure out what's it worth. Absolutely. Okay. And the one thing is, in the next episode, we'll show you in that search tool, that little grid that tells okay. you what are your choices, many ways to help you minimize the number of choices, many ways to help you identify okay, within so, there. So we're not really finished with this whole system. Oh, right? this You've is got a whole, just a part of it done in, in, a, in a future episode. Yep, that we're this gonna, is a we're basic... Gonna, Here's how you get in, and here's cool. where you go. Cool. All right? Oh, great, Annie. Well, so. that, that. <laughs> Thank Very you. Very good. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You want to switch seats here? I absolutely. I'll, I'll let you sign off. And it was wonderful. Oh, it, well, yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm glad. Well, we've worked together on other things before, haven't we? We have occasionally. Yep, yep. yep. And that's, that's kind of cool how we how uh, Carnival Glass people kind of get together, so. Okie doke. Well, that. You can take them back to the home page if you Oh, okay. To. Take them back to the home page. And there you go. Okay. Well, that's that's our episode for today. And we hope it's uh, uh, inspired you to go further into uh, searching out either your glass or glass that you're uh, particularly interested in, in picking up at an auction or a, a flea market or wherever. And uh, we'll be talking to you down the road. And so this is Dr. Glass and. Annie from Annie Antiques, signing out. Toodaloo. Take care.